Today we are going to be doing a review on Shop Hush and the Hush app. We'll call it whatever you want. Reviewing, I've already popped on my brows. That's what I use to create these eyebrows. Oh, you guys could tell this is a different background. Please ignore the carvings of my drywall. Not put in by a professional. And it wasn't me, it was someone else. So yeah um also excuse the noises in the background because everyone's home today anyway now i'm applying my nrx <laughs> wet and wild primer kind of red and i have like uh, these right there so here is um here is the items i bought with the list and stuff this is how they look. I bought three items. So I bought the Bad Habit uh, Aphrodite eyeshadow palette. I also bought the Clean Color Madly Matte Metallic Lip Gloss. And I bought two of those. Two of those in different shades. So we're going to review them today. So let's move on quickly. The palette was $9.70 because on Hush app, well on the Hush app, you can build points every time um, days go by and you go back on to the app you can claim your discount rewards they have discount rewards every day as long as you claim it and those points discount your purchases so you just got to build it up until you get a good amount of discount that you want on the next palette that you want to buy so I've been building up quite a bit of points and I'm really happy about myself because I did that and it discounted my Aphrodite palette because it was supposed to be $10 and I got it for $9.70 so my Hush points that I redeemed did discount it discount this one the most so you get the you get the um you get what I'm talking about right the amount for this item was 11.70 legit it does work it is real like you're not gonna get ripped off on hush it's real trust me you decide for yourself if it is worth it or not and today i'm gonna be swatching reviewing and giving you guys my honest opinions on it so yeah let's get into it okay so here it is i've already erased some of my information so here's the box obviously it doesn't come with this sticker i put that there just so so i would not touch it and open it and swatch it on my own because i wanted to save this review with all of you guys so yeah it's just like this it does have shophush.com tape all around it you know just i did have a ups um usps tracker for it so yeah and too bad you guys cannot know where i live because that would be weird um i'll insert a clip of how i first got it and when i opened it and how i unboxed it and everything so you guys can see how that looked how what was my first impression on a unboxing video sort of i guess this is what this clip is so that's how it looked now this is where we are and that's where the box came it was really good bubbled with all these bubble wrappers and there's another one on the bottom I've never had such a good packaging as hush thumbs up for that this is what I got a palette and these liquid lipsticks and my favorite colors too so anyway so after I take this off I will not have the name of the liquid lip color anymore so I will try my hardest to remember so let's go ahead and open moon beam first I'm really excited to swatch this one because I'm expecting this to be like a nice goldy metallic yeah. for Christmas and stuff so uh. 
look at this it has like that blue in it that's weird i wonder why that's not supposed to be like that that looks like this was a bottle from twinkie teal that's weird if you've ordered this liquid lipstick comment below if yours came out the same way um. <sighs> it smells good here are the four that i have and they smell just like uh, it smells like vanilla cupcakes for some reason and it smells really good like a light scent it's not too harsh so I'm kind of suspicious because this is supposed to be like goldy copper color and it looks blue like what the heck it's teal and just a bit of copper in there and you can definitely tell from right here I'm about to be pissed to okay, see how that looks Hmm. Looks nice to me. Maybe it's because they mix teal, the Twinkie teal that I have with this color. I don't know. Well, that's weird. But anyway, it is pretty. Do you see this? Moonbeam. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. If it's the same, showing up the same, then it's good. And it sparkles like glitter, dude. Like that one song, you know? Okay, back on track. Um, now moving on to Twinkie Teal. The real one that's supposed to look like that not like that was really weird okay i'm so happy that i shared that with you guys because if you've opened yours up like that and got kind of scared i guess it doesn't make a difference on it it's just probably like the way they create their formulas i don't know but hush does have a lot of products on there from different brands and high brands too i cannot tell after i take off this package if this is twinkie teal or not pops open how this looks so their wands are not the best they do pick up a little bit of product but i think that should be a good amount for um applying on your lips so they are pretty much the same wands all right let's go ahead and oh wow you don't want to add too much on your lips that's why it picks up just a bit of product, especially for these metallic lip glosses. Oh my god. That is so pretty. Oh my. Dude. Dude. That is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. I'm so happy I got these colors. Do you see that? Do you see the, like, the reflection? If you guys can see this in person oh that's exactly how it looks in person right now like my lighting is pretty fucked up but oh my i'm so happy i ordered off hush now i mean the moonbeam was kind of scary because obviously what the hell like what the hell but you can guys you guys can see in there like kind of teal in there i don't know i guess they mix up their colors to create this but this is a beautiful color i'm definitely wearing that in christmas and thanksgiving dinner bad and bougie you know anyway i'm sorry i don't want to take too long because i kind of do want to create a look i don't think i'm going to create a look today actually but I think I'll just watch them for you guys and make and it says the ingredients on the back by Bad Habit LLC Los Angeles California designed in Los Angeles made in PRC also oh, this palette okay so if you guys didn't know if your makeup comes with something like this like a tuna can sort of logo the number in the middle with the M 
is how many months this palette lasts. So palettes do expire. But uh, it's a beautiful palette. This is how it looks. Okay, so as you guys can tell, it does come with a mirror. This one does actually come with a mirror, the name of the palette, and the bottom of the mirror, and with names for each color. And this is supposed to be the dupe for the Huda Beauty palette, so I'm too cheap to buy the Huda Beauty palette. So obviously I won't be doing that. It's like a thick palette, it's not a cheap palette, guys. Believe me when I say this is feels like I should have wasted way more money for it than I actually did spend on it. This was only 10 bucks guys. And so face comparison, do you see how big this palette is compared to me? Like the glitters are on this side and then the mattes are on that side. Black right here and it's called Heartbreaker. So yeah, 50, 40 bucks on this, but I only spent 10. See how good the pigmentation on this palette is. And it's magnetic, like, you can hear how thick it is. It's like a notebook palette like this. It's, it's the bomb B. Now moving on to the real reason you are here is for swatches. So we're going to be swatching some glitters and then mattes. So from glitters, I'm taking Sparks, Adore, and Love. And then I'm moving on to the mattes with Romance, Lust, and Seduction. Because those are the colors that pop up to me, so I'm gonna swatch three of each. As you guys can see here, this is how they look. They have not been untouched. Let's see if we get good pigment payoff from this palette. So here I'm dipping into Sparks, and it looks like a nice 24 karat gold type of color, and it does give off a really nice, pretty pigment. Like you cannot receive that from the drugstore. It's really hard to find palettes like these, and on Hush, just amazed me on this palette. So now moving on to the next color, it's um, kind of buttery, chunky, and it's really nice formula. As you can see on my finger, it's pretty thick, and it's good for topping off your eyelids with glitter. And this orange is so pretty. As you can see, the pigment left over is what we usually get in the drugstore, but this is actually worth the $10 because even the glitters are amazing they're super pigmented okay so moving on to this lovely burgundy glitter oh my god do you guys see this this is crazy pigmented like this glitter is so pretty i've never owned a palette with these intense type of glitter pigments and even like the leftover glitter is still a good amount like this is just beautiful this is amazing guys like, you can't tell me you can find anything else like this. It's unbeatable. Like, you can't beat this. So, those are the glitters. And I'm super impressed. Like, I'm so freaking impressed. So, now moving on to the mattes. We're going to go ahead and start doing that. So, as you can see, these glitters are pretty worth it to me. You decide if you would like a more intense glitter. So, now let's talk about the mattes. These mattes are really nice, glidable. They are really cute colors you can make different types of look with it they're really nice and buttery and obviously these are gonna have some fallouts you can definitely tell by just touching it it is gonna have fallout but that happens with every palette every matte always is gonna have some fallout but you can go all over the world with this palette and create many different types of looks so these glitters are really worth it they're beautiful I like them like you cannot find stuff like this pigments like this on an eyeshadow palette anywhere for 10 bucks unless it's hush i know swatches sometimes don't mean much but you really just gotta trust me on this one beautiful pigmented well packaged the pigment payoff is beautiful like so here's one last look of the swatches apply just a little bit from my hand swatches these two that's why they're kind of gone now but I just applied some of it to my eyelids and you can already start seeing the glitter shine off of them obviously they're gonna be more pigmented but 
bitch. Well, I am going to do a look, not today, obviously, because we're going to be here for like an hour. You should get this palette. It's only 10 bucks. Like, that is nothing compared to the other palettes from Cat Monthly, Too Faced, Modern Renaissance, the Huda Beauty palette. This is the dupe for the Huda Beauty palette. If you haven't got that palette, like me, and you want to save some money in your pocket, then get this. It's like worth it you don't need to buy it like you know Huda Beauty's palette is really beautiful I'm not you know dissing her palette because it is really pretty I've seen it I don't have it I don't own it because it's a little bit on the expensive side compared to my budgeting so this is enough to fit my budget I'm just blown away I'm amazed from this palette like guys this is underrated than it should be this is such a nice palette guys like, I can't get over it it's really nice you guys should get it get you some pigmented colors glitters so that's pretty much it for this review on the Aphrodite palette it is worth it I approve and I'm gonna play a little bit with the colors and then I'll be back to show you guys a look off of this palette because I really do believe you can look plenty of looks on this palette. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope y'all pretty soon enjoy. And I'll see y'all next time.